Do you know what is the most efficient way to farm Safi? Do you want to get all the weapons before he goes away? But what exactly is the most efficient way to farm and get all the weapons you want? In this video, we're going to show you how to build the ultimate weapon to farm Safi for, and that is Aqua Shot. As a hunter ourselves, we understand how tedious farming can be. So we've come up with this build that makes Safi farming a lot more efficient. Safi Aqua Shot is so overpowered that we in the process of making this build, we cleared the first run having awful energy in all area. It was not pre-planned, it was with randoms. So you can tell how overpowered it can easily become. But some of you might say, if we play Light Wogan, then we will get more Light Wogan as our reward. And you want to farm your favorite weapon. For this, it's pretty simple. Just equip the weapon that you want before taking rewards, and you will be guaranteed the weapon you're wearing. There are two variations of the builds for this weapon, Sticky and Water Ammo. Before we explain more, you gotta understand why we need the brick parts. That's because your rewards solely depend on how many parts you and your session breaks. This builds up the reward level. The higher your reward level, the more reward you can choose to have. Yes, you also need to kill, but not particularly you. Anyone in the session can kill. If anyone in the session slay the dragon, then everyone will get rewards. The main skills of sticky builds are Artillery 5, True Spare Shot, and Free Element or Ammo Up. Artillery 5 is the only skill that can increase your sticky ammo damage. There is another skill that further increase the sticky ammo damage and that is Hayline Bombardier. You can eat for this if you wish to do more damage. True Razor Sharpness is also an extremely important skill to have because that would allow you to use more ammo without having to reload again and again. It basically gives you free ammo to use. It depends on luck, but it really proves to be very useful, especially when the monster has fallen and you just want to take this chance to do your DPS. With this in mind, all you need is 3 pieces of Zora set and 3 pieces of Nagakuga. Since you can only put 5 pieces of armor, then your light bow gun should be upgraded to have a Nagakuga essence so that you will be able to enjoy 2 of these set bonuses. Sticky ammo takes a long time to reload, so we have added 2 evading reload in the mods. That means you can reload and evade at the same time. This is where evade window plays a large part in the build because it gives you amazing dodge capability while you are evading and reloading at the same time. The other extra skills that are useful are Path Breaker as it makes it easier to break parts. And for survivability, go for Health Boost and Divine Blessing. When using this build, aim for wings first and then head because wings are the only parts nobody else can reach. The Water Build This build has 100% affinity and is good for breaking hind legs. The damage is also very high, but with great power comes great responsibility. Your health keeps decreasing because of the Safi 5 set bonus on you. However, it will heal after shooting every 5 to 6 ammo. For this build, you will need Glider Mantle and Fireproof Mantle or other mantles with at least 2 level 2 slot. This will give you Part Breaker 3 and Augmentation boosts your damage exponentially. Apart from 2 affinity and 2 attack increase on awakened abilities, also go for elemental capacity level 3. This is a rare one, but it is very useful because it increases the water ammo capacity from 3 to 7. 
so it saves you a lot of time from reloading. On a side note, you may see some people using recoil suppressor times 4 to reduce their recoil, causing them to shoot the ammo a little bit faster. Since 4 recoil suppressor is needed, one recoil suppressor should be in the awakened abilities and that trades in a lot of your damage, either affinity or attack since they cannot give up elemental capacity level 3, which is totally not worth it. So these are the two builds that we have put together. We hope that you get everything you need from this quarantine dragon and happy hunting! Good luck guys!